All right, what's up, people? So, kind of feel a bit, I'm not know, tired today, so I don't really have much energy. But um, today, we will be changing the front brake pads. <laughs> so, two different brake pads. I'll put in that one. So, the first thing to do is to get a tool. So, boom, bang, suck it. I think it's a 15 pull it. Oh no, 15 or 13. No, a 13, not 15. Guesstimate, you know. So we have to pull off them two. Boom, boom, them two um, bolt here. Yeah, a 13. No, man, a 12. This is kind of big for 13. Tripod mash up so I have to hold the camera with my hand. Yeah, 12 feet. So 12. Drop on the 12 on the socket. <sighs> Get somebody to sponsor me to buy my back a tripod, you know? Rub, boop, 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 boop. Ah, Brad. Why, me nearly drop? One and another, this video, you know, people. Yes, sir. So we are going to just pull this. Pull off the bracket. Boom. So now you have easy access to your brake caliper. If you look at these, these are really M I D U N done. You understand? <laughs> so best thing now to do get a flatted screwdriver like this one. Yeah. On a difficulty scale. This is about, on a difficulty scale like from 1 to 5, this is about 2, honestly, about 2, it's not hard at all, you understand, so what I do now, So now I'm going to need some Arling key. Mm -hmm. Maybe our five. Mm -hmm. Five. Can you keep it sideways? Mm -hmm. So we get the Arling key now. We just pull. Pull that so. Let's get active. Like this. So then we have the bolt. Then we hold in the brake. Brake. Um, Brake pads. Take a one out. I used to say brake pads just drop. Don't do this at home. This is not good. Watch out, brother. God damn. Don't do this at home. You have to kind of fiddle with it and get the other brake pad out. That is it. You can, if you have a brake cleaner, you can clean out inside of the caliper, clean out the piston, them and so forth. But I don't have a brake cleaner. So, let's go on, continue. You know? So, we get the new this pad, then. New this pad, all this pad, brake caliper. So, all we do is just to fit everything, right? Easy as this. If you want to make sure, say, the hold them line up. They hold them up here, so so them go in this way. Put that one in slant. Alright, just like that. And then the next one goes in like this. Make sure so everything line up with the hold them right here. So, so the caliper pin now, just push it through. Make sure so you go through the first one. Line it up. You know what you say. Huh? Catch. Catch. Everything catch. Tighten it back down.
-hmm. And then that's it. Brake pads installed. Easy as one, two, three. And then you just fit on back your bracket. Screw up back your bracket. Oh yeah. Fit it on back over the what name the what is name again? Rotor. Hello. Yo. Mm-hmm. Mm So after you go so boops, tighten down everything. After you tighten down everything, make sure you pump the brake. Cause if you go out and start ride, you will never get no pressure. So the reason why you pump the brake, I think it can show. So uh, see if we can make it show yeah. So the disc pad them, you pump the brake so the disc pad then can come in and clamp onto the the router. So you pump it. See that? Press off and then you get tough. So the this part then start push out now. As you can see right there. Yeah, this is properly, but just trust me. So I see that. Can I see if I answer? Yeah. So the this part and the rotor become one. Then again, even though you change the brake, you're not gonna get the best braking feeling car. The the wet name there. The the, the 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 disc pad and the rotor have to meet, have to mesh. So you have to do a little bit of riding first before everything feel proper. So that is it, you know. Respect for checking out. Okay.